His sister had a cat and all of a sudden it had kittens. The kittens were premature because they were really tiny, like two ounces and a normal newborn kitten's like four ounces. This one was the tiniest. She was very fragile. Mom wasn't feeding her. I'm glad we got Hank when we did. I was freaking out over how tiny she was. You could see her ribs. She was the size of his shirt pocket. I like her head would poke him. I am a teacher, so I was teaching from home, so I had all the time in the world to take care of her, but it was hard. Her odds were non-existent. We were both super attached, like it was our kid within 24 hours. I was instantly obsessed with her the second I saw her. We did have to take her literally everywhere. It didn't matter where it was. We had a basket and had a heating pad and a blanket over it. And some so, stuffed animals and some yeah. old socks. We fed her every two hours, even in the middle of the night. We had to keep her super, super warm, even during feedings. Any amount of time off of the heating pad could cause them to not make it because kittens can't regulate their body heat until they're like four weeks old. I feel lucky she was super healthy. Those first couple of weeks, Poppy just didn't know what he was. Poppy would hiss at her, but she still voluntarily was right beside her all the time. She just didn't want Hank to touch her. It took a little while, but they're really good friends. Poppy still plays a little bit rough, but Hank goes right back for more. She is wild. It's like she'll doze off and then she'll wake up just crazy and ready to go. She likes jumping in the air. She's just really affectionate. Hank really wants to always be around us. consider her our child. She is the sweetest thing ever. She has for sure changed my life. I cannot believe she made it. It's just crazy with the way that she came to us. She's three pounds now instead of two ounces. She beat a lot of odds.